Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will see how to connect multiple files from a folder into Power BI Desktop. Okay, so in our previous video, what we have seen is how to connect single file into Power BI by using the get file option, get data option in Power BI and we can connect to any file extension like Excel, Access Database, SQL Server, Google Analytics, so on. So we can connect with more than 150 data source files into Power BI. Okay, so let's see how we can connect multiple files from a folder into Power BI Desktop. So this is a powerful approach to import data into Power BI Desktop by combining multiple files which have the same format into a single logical table. So what I mean here is, if we are uploading multiple files into Power BI, the file format should be same for every file so that the Power BI should update all the files without any difficulties. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. Let's go to the real world example and see how we can connect that multiple files into Power BI. So let's go to the Power BI desktop. Okay, so I am into Power BI desktop. Before I proceed further to show you how we can upload multiple files into Power BI, let me show you a folder where I have kept these files and that I need to connect with Power BI. Okay. So if you see on a desktop, I have a folder which says Power BI files. If I double click this, I have four different Excel files with different name, exercise data one, two, three, four. So I have four different file with the same format and same data as of now to show you how we can connect with these files into Power BI. Okay, so let's go to Power BI again and see how we can upload the files. So once I open the files or once I open the Power BI desktop, you see on the left hand on the right hand side I have two tables which are already uploaded into Power BI. Okay, so we won't be looking at this table for now. We will see how we can connect the Excel files into Power BI. Okay, so to do so, what we have to do is go to transform data and open our query editor. Okay, so my query editor is open now. So once the query editor tab is open, what we have to do to connect to the folder, what we have to do is go to the new source. So if you can see here, we have an option which says new source click on that new source and click on more so once we click on new source and click on more a pop-up window similarly to the get data option will open here as well so which will allow us to select the option that we want to connect so for now what we have to do is connect to a folder so you see an option folder so click on this folder and click on connect so once you click on connect it is asking for a folder path so let's browse which folder we want to connect with our power bi desktop so let's see the folder that i showed you is kept on the one uh, sorry that's kept on desktop so you can see this power bi files folder i will click on this and click on ok once I click on OK so you can see here it is giving me the records or the data that is there in this particular file so what all detail it's giving me it's giving me the content whether which type of file it is which type of extension it is the name of that file when it was created modified so on and so forth so as of now I don't want any of this options what I will have to do is just click combine and transform data so what will happen is it will combine all the file into one and it will combine and transform the data once i click on combine and transform data
okay so it will open up this page and it is showing me first file whichever file you want to select select that file click on the sample data it will show you the preview click on ok and it will load your data into power bi edit query okay so this has loaded and if you see on the right hand side in the fields option it is showing me power bi files so for now all the files contain same data source or same file format so everything has been combined into one file and it is giving me the data so let's see how many how much data we have in this uh, in this power bi files so what we have to do here is go to this option and click on edit query okay so once i click on edit query so you see here it is combined all the source file into one file so this is how it combines all the files from a folder into power bi okay so if you want to remove any of the column which we have seen in our previous video you can just go right click and remove the column so this is a very simple procedure similarly the way we connect with the files into power bi the same we can connect a folder with multiple files into power bi okay so that's all about in this video hope you like this video please comment below and subscribe to my channel have a great day